<laughs> okay, so how come everybody else is still traveling to the other day of the past week? So I have an idea and you have to come with me. I woke up, I was in the car for like almost an hour now. It was very hard for us to live with the approach of last week. And everything changed because of that ability. So this is what I want us to live in the Holy
says, but those that don't know what to do, you hear it says, his name is Mikey. Okay? Now, you guys never know exactly what Mikey is. Okay? So, okay, and those that know that Mikey is Nebi Shabbat. So, you see what's coming? So, who wants to answer the question of Nebi Shabbat? Is it you too? Somebody else? Yes? Somebody. Nebi Shaisi. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to remind you. <laughs> no, seriously. Essentially, what it is, right, you give them input, you put it into a machine, and you get an output, right? This is what it, this is what it all is about, right? Exactly, this is what it's all about. So, I see is Mikey, right? So, what you're going to do today, you're going to just jump into right this part, this part. This is what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at it. This part says, the cars that were today, the production of beers, and the accomplished of wine. Okay, so just to set the uh, the input here, right? So that is the grammar that we just covered, and this is uh, this is one picture. It doesn't really write, right? So if you would open the next page, you would get Mikey, and you'll see Mikey. This this particular screen will reevaluate that and put this on there, okay? So essentially, this is what it's like to open the page and see what's going on. But okay, so you should actually implement this. And then we will see. We will we will see how it develops, and we will show you what the what it looks like. Okay. So uh, this is the Bible. This is how it will look like, but I'm not going to show you that. Now, so before we we go on and show you what is this, what do we do with Nebi Shabbat? Okay. Let's take a quick look at what is the deeper history of Nebi Shabbat. What's the Bible all about? So it starts off with uh, uh, Rabbi Shmuel Ben Yosef. Rabbi by the Talmud, and not in some sort of a description, but actually in the Talmud. So we have, in this case, we have the Ibn Shalu, uh, which is the letter, okay, and then the foundation, right? Was there a letter or a digit or multiple pieces of data that we have today? Everybody comfortable with reading that one? Who's not comfortable with reading that one? Okay, that's fine. Who else is not comfortable? So of course, then you can look at it like this, right? You can look at it as a machine that you can plug and play, or you can actually take a look at it as a Jeff, and then uh, right away go into Jeff, or I don't have anything for one, or I don't have a digit, and then I'm digging over again, which is essentially graphically to a Jeff. Now, the beauty of it is that the way this would look in concept, and it's obviously this part is deeply embedded into it, is that this looks and smells like this letter. Okay? A couple of uh, different conceptions can go about this, but other than that, it's very simple. Okay? So basically, here we have something that's created by the Talmud, the Chet, who is the letter, followed by a comma, followed by either a letter or a digit at the beginning. This is how it is today. Isn't it cool? I think it's extremely cool. Now, this is not all, right? There's not just the API that we have in Nebi Shabbat. I said it's embedded into the Mosa. First of all, right? Perfect API, fluent API that we saw here in Nebi Shabbat. But the coolest thing is that it also has a machine writing feature because of Samuel Hughes that as a as a as a as a, um, as a composition of all of this. So now before we go into that, I would like you to open the unit and take a look. Open the unit, type this part, right? The identifier, letter or character, type letter or character, go to this file and evaluate it and give me a number. Okay? Questions? 
they used to do it in any language, but we were Egyptian. And then we would ask the question in Tamilian. And ideally, we would have somebody else in the room answer the question. Okay, this is the best help that the boy would have. Okay, so let's go to that. Okay, we have about two minutes. Yes, please. Flesh is a body word. Star is a human word. So, I think we will put star in there. Is that okay? Four star. Oh, but wait. He's, he's already finished. I want you to circle the wish image of the star. Open the image, open the workspace, and type in single word. It's just the only difference is the tool here, right? So we just, I just want you to go and have a feeling, right? So just type, it's basically a very simple type thing of asking and identifying in a, in a regular language. Check that. I want to check that. Let me see. Oh, very good. They do. Is it fine? Are you ready? Let me check. These guys? How are these sounding? You got it? Very good. Did you get it? Very good. Okay. Oh, wait, did you do it? Okay. Good. How about you? Is it fine? Excellent. Take a look at the impact. Let, let's learn, you know, what it is, right? So we were talking about selectors and see what it is. So this is one way of looking at it from the API point of view. You will also see the grammar of this uh, discussion as well. But you, you can implement it. And I want you to actually, I want, I, I want you to um, not just experience the process on my part. I would like to go inside a bit and have a feedback. But I would, I would go with you a bit and have, have you browse a bit uh, the, the text and the implementation for this aspect just to have a feeling of what it is you're talking about and see how easy it actually would be if you knew. So the first thing we do is realize that actually we don't want this at the implementation level. We want this at the implementation level. So instead of using rules, we want to decompose things into actions. Zero elements, for example. And then we have 
Não, eu, eu falo que assim, eu acho que depende do show que a gente tem junto, aí tipo, eu tipo, eu tô aqui, tipo, eu tô aqui com ele, tipo, também. Mas eu fico bem nessa assim, vai, não tem show, tipo, tipo, não vai ser combinado.
Se o pai faz um altar, e se o pai faz um altar, e o celeiro que Deus havia preparado para Moisés, aí ele foi lá e fez o altar. Não é que ele quer ele ouvir que ninguém faz um altar, mas é porque Deus já tinha preparado para ele. Thank you. 
good. That's a good thing. Thank you. Yes. Yes, this is what I want you to do. Yeah, so what I did, I showed it quickly, and then I implemented it, and then I deleted it, and I put the string here. So first you initialize strings, and then you want that one there, and then you execute it, and after you executed it, you must have that string in here. Yes, are you ready? So who else is ready? We have a winner here. How many of you are ready? Now or before? Now before. So take your time. That's all. Just take your time. You lost. Exactly. But it's just complicated. It's not complicated, really. It's a string, right? So you should know the definition of a string. So by the way, what is the definition of a string? We have the question here. What is the definition of a string? How would you how would you write the parameter? So you implement it. How did you write it? So you have a what? Like a, a, a character set and then in between? So can you please, can anybody dictate what I should type it in? I'm fine. I'm going to help you, right? I just, I just pushed your data into a third locker, and all of a sudden you're just crying over here. Right? Take it easy. Relax. Right? I understand it can be really daunting. But that's why I want you to do it, right? So our, our, um, everybody with me? Our goal to have something like this. We have a string as a password. We want to send files to it. Then we will place inside um, a string, right? Yeah, something like that. Uh, let's look at X, Y, Z. And then when we will print it, we want this to work, right? This is the goal. So let's see, what does that mean? So how is this working? So who has done anything until now? Who's working? One, two, three, four. Anybody else trying? Anybody else still trying? Who's still trying? Okay, you're still trying and you finish. That's good. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay, so those that are still trying, can we see, please pay attention here? So those that finished, can you tell me what I should write now? What should I write? So there are quotes, right? Quotes plus five. After it, comma. Anybody else has another opinion as to the implementation? Yes? No, no, that's fine. That's fine. You answer. Anybody else? So what were your Who says not yet? Yeah, but he says not yet anyway. Who has other implementation? Can you have another implementation? Let's just write it down. Right. So what was that? That's a letter. Something like this? No, wait, wait, wait. So what was the what is another implementation of a letter? Yeah, it's a letter plus something else. Anybody else use another another keyword? Yes, I know, it's fine. Anybody else? So so you were finishing first, what did you use in the middle? You put any, right? So there was another one for any. something like this, right? So now let's take a look here. Basically, right, so this doesn't really work because then we would also be allowed to put one single string in there. That's not good. It doesn't work. 
questo si chiama Nasty per Wolf e poi dopo Mel Bukli che è proprio te e questo di Andrea Ferrari Kiss by the Way Why Not Don't Answer Wait We Don't Understand Why Not So now What do we do when we don't understand? Right We, we blur it out we, we jump to the moon image Yeah yeah That's the other option <laughs> What's the other option? We ask Damien Is this not seeing the room? What else? We open Before you did that, what did you do when you looked at what, you know, what was the difference between sad and sad? You would just try to accept it as exactly, or we just open the, you know, the browser and see what exactly is this kiss by sad. So let's inspect this. Let's have Kurt as Parker now. So inspect this. Let's have QT now Parker. I don't know what that is. Let me browse that. Vertically, a parser can succeed whenever it cannot get parsed enough, right? So this one was the resulting parser will succeed when the, 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 the delegate parser cannot succeed, but consumes no input, right? So this is where the difference is, right? So then we say, okay, so what is the other option? Well, I don't know, so I want to go here. Okay, let's inspect all the different uh, interface. Okay, there's just no input. And then I say, well, there's media input. So let's take a look at quickly at the implementation of media. So if not, right, I want to succeed when uh, the one that I have in, when I want the return to succeed when I don't succeed, so I mess that up, but then followed by anything. I say I want to consume the message. because you will most probably stumble over it quite often, right? The most basic thing is, let's say we want to use media, because that is what we do, that means that we are curating your um, data, right? go and inspect that. Okay, so this is incredibly slow, right? And I learned that Amy is on the side here, right? So, um, message, negate my message. So I have to go now and get it on the input side, blah, blah, blah. And then I have here in the type, and as you see here, we're talking about, if it's a grim node, then Only node, except for the string one, the string one is only on the grim node. Okay, which is the coolest thing about it because it means it's the most, um, it's the unit of contention, which is what it does. applies to everything, right? This will advance only one parser, but the, the parser will be applied, you know, and the parser is the whole parser, right? And if you apply it for a large thing, that's fine. So the negation can be, oh, I don't want to parse, um, I don't want to parse, um, I don't know, let's say Romeo and Juliet, right? The parser that parses Romeo and Juliet, the whole text of Romeo and Juliet, and then I say no, and then I give it one colon. If you try to pass whole Romeo Juliet, it co it fails, and then it succeeds at I think only one. Right? This it here it does not limit the the, in the, the delegate parser. It only limits the contention text. So you can con you can control. It's very very tiny. So the negation can be on a very complex topic that means something like I don't want small text. I want something else. So it could be the complete Sparta text in here. Still, not complete character is only one. 
I'll read from the same page here. And here's the question. Who Here's from who. We're still confused, right, guys? Do we have other confusion? No one's still confused. What is, what's the confusion about? So we do need to understand the new gift, right? somebody does not understand really what new gift is about. Anybody else that does not understand what new gift is about? One, two, three. So who can explain it better than me? Somebody else must explain to these guys because we want to move on. New gift is moving on. Okay, we'll try. So Miri will try to say what she doesn't understand. Yes. Here's one character and she's very good at it. Here's what it does. It does not confuse, right? So because a parser usually is made of two things. First is the consumption side, and the other one is the uh, coercion side, right? So you can sometimes advance even if something is not correct, or you can stall even if something is correct, right? The two are not the same, right? So this is what the, the, the somebody is doing, right? So not is just about the correcting, and New gift bundles the correction together with the gift. Okay? Are we fine? You stall when you try to omit the correction. You can that's a yeah, because you finish you just finish the stuff. That's why I, I kept on trying to tell you. So whenever you see any magic like this. The first thing you do is you go to pp predicate of the parser on the class side, and then you check what that thing is. Now, what would you say this means? Add any. Any input character for the get, you should succeed in parsing. Okay? Great. Just forget about that for, at the moment, just for a while. Okay? Let's, let's take this out. Other questions? like this. We start with the float. We have float, the parser that starts with float, we negate that multiple times, and then we end with the float, right? So the delegate, when you put, when you say new gate, the delegate is the result of each one, right? Which means it should not be any of these, and I will continue uh, to explain in a moment. running in your workspace? So let's see, right? We, we take it, and this is the interesting thing, right? It's not about whether it works or not. By default, you al already get a default resolution of what's going on, right? We, we will see. This is really, really crucial. Every parser is doing flip. Some has been moved, some not, right? This is important. We will do that. The process is here, the grammar parser is it becomes really, really crucial. So you see here what we got was is the array formed by uh, the character float, another array with three characters x, y, z, and i, and another character float. Right? So we have an array with three things inside that have another thing. Right? So we move on. Is still not ready because if I recall correctly, we also should kill the parser and uh, for a number, and this one should pass something like this: minus one two three dot four five 
is and to do. Now, now, now let me let you back a little bit. You have to do that. Or if you want to do it now in the next uh, time, you can do it now. I promise that you will have to do that. Okay. Right, so just uh, one comment. First of all, what is star? What does star mean? What does star mean? No, I don't know what that means, but uh, don't be shy. Be simple. Simple implementation is not a block. It's a white box. You should be able to look into it and run it. So we looked into star. The implementation of star is that minimum zero time, maximum uh, max value of small interval, right? Many was the star. Star. And yeah, more than zero. Okay, more than one. You're right, you're right. Okay. Okay, let's see. Zero and many are not the same. Many is good. But anyway, it's, 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 it's a bit bigger. I mean, that's why it's like that. Yeah, next one. So, I'm ready. Are we fine? So, then we let's create, let's create Mariano's operator. Mariano, we want to create Mariano's operator. So it takes two parameters, the lower boundary and the upper boundary, right? So if I would have to do that, I would go to, by the way, everybody else who has stuck to this, this is it. So if we look at the implementation of star, right? And now we want to implement, uh, let's take a look at plus, I guess I'm not going to do that. Right, so this is plus, right? So I say, oh, it's using min, min max, right? Min something. Oh, I can see there's already a min max. Right, so basically, instead of having star, and you want to specify how many do you really want, so you will replace star with a call to min max, and in fact, what are the parameters here? Who managed to pass a natural number? Uh, who, who managed to pass a natural number? No. <laughs> but who, who managed to write, who, who managed to implement more than one? Who's still working on strings then? Okay, you're steady? Okay, who's working on numbers? Very good. How far are we and what are the problems? How far are we? So who, who has anything running? Yes, what is running? It's not a problem, right? We don't, we don't care about the result. We just care about, we, we want to see the result. I mean, look at this thing, it's a mess. We don't care about getting the number in the end. So you, 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 you can pass that. Who else can pass that? One, two, three, yeah, you can. Okay. Optional, exactly, that's the, that's the word, right? So if you want something to be optional, then it should be optional. So that means something like this. So if, if, uh, should work. So anybody that has it working, what have you written here? So who has any 
Peter was We have to the organizers want to move on to this. Otherwise we're just gonna everybody's grumbling and then leaving right away. So I need your feedback so that we can move on fast. So please tell me what could be in there? What's the first thing that would happen? For a number, what's the first possible thing? It's not a coincidence, right? This is not part of an act, it's part of an experience. that one, right? So I have an option to guide. How do I write that one? Dollar minus what? Right size there, never forget that. And then you say optional, right? Is it just, okay, we're going to have to. This is the test, right? This is the test. If you will do, look, if you will be really careful to push it in development, you were really eager to say that this is optional. Right? No, you didn't. Because it's test driven, so you could not do it even without it, without the optional. It was your choice. Yeah. That's why I said that if you would be faithful to, to test driven, you would know it's not optional. Okay, what's next? What did you do that I didn't tell you? Do you have to put your
the Lord is saying to them in the same breath, right? He is saying, if you're looking up to me,